Okay, so hi everybody and welcome to Kids Talk. So today we're gonna be learning how to make an achievement system in Scratch. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. Okay, so down below this video you'll find a link to this starter project and this has a backpackable achievement sprite which you can drag into your backpack and then you can use it in your games. So I'm just going to quickly explain how this works. So it starts in a when green flag click block and then this main sprite is going to hide and there's one list achievements unlocked as you can see here and it's going to be cleared off delete all of and then repeat four times in the starter project it's four but you can change this number i'm going to tell you later what what this is the, what this means for and it adds no to achievements unlocked that means we have not unlocked achievements and then it's going to forever run this custom block and this is at achievement achievement number with an input of achievement number and then a condition and this is a boolean operator that this has a condition and what this checks is if the item achievement number of item of achievements unlocked this is the list achievements unlocked and item achievement number so one two three and four so that's these corresponding values here is equal to no so this is true then it checks if the condition is true and con and the condition is going to be whether whether you want to unlock the achievement or not so if, for example you can put a variable in this and check if that variable is equal to a certain amount for example score you can have you can put in the condition here if score is equal to 100 and if it is then it the, it'll run this code and show up the achievement and then if it, it is, then it switch costumes to achievement number plus one. Why plus one? I'll tell you that later. Then it creates a clone of itself because, well, it's possible that two and three achievements show up at the same time. And then it replaces the item achievement number, that's this, with yes. So if, if, if I've unlocked the second achievement, then it replaces no with yes. Now, when it's cloned, then it starts becoming clone, and then it shows, and then it animates costume, because it's gonna appear here, and it's gonna come here and come out, and then uh, he, and then this custom block is gonna run animate costume with a numerical input costume, and the costume number is passed down here, so that it does this animation and then it deletes this clone, and now. It smoothly moves here, smoothly move X and Y. So this is the X position and the Y position. And this is the smoothing, the smoothing, that's how smooth it goes. If you put a zero, then it's gonna appear and then disappear. And then costume, well, it's this costume is passed in here. And this is passed into this. So basically, this, and this pink costume is this costume number so it's gonna appear in this costume number and then it's gonna delete the clone now you might be asking well why is this achievement number plus one because as you know sprites big problem with not allowing sprites to go off screen if I go here the first costume is a big costume so if I zoom out this allows the sprites to go off screen. Let me just undo that. And then I've prepared four uh, starter, la starter labels. You can put whatever text you want in here. Because it, and because it's in the mi middle, we're tweaking the X and Y position within the code. Now, if I go into this block, custom block, this handles the animation. We have smoothly move X, this with an X input, Y with Y input, smoothing with a smoothing input, times that repeats with a repeat times input, and a costume with a costume input. And in this loop, it repeats for the number of times, and in our case, this is a 100. First, it switches the costume to the big costume, 
that's this so the spread can go off screen then it changes x by and then this is a formula for example the smoothing i put in 10 so if i take this out then this comes out to be infinity which is very funny and then it switches the costume to this costume variable so it knows the correct costume and it switches the costume to the corresponding um, a number from the list plus one for the big costume and now this is how it's done so i hope you know how it's done like this is a very short video i can show you and uh, now let's talk about how to put this in your games so you have to grab the sprite achievements in your backpack and then drop it in whatever position you want and then you go into the costumes as you know you want to tweak the color and the text and all and here these are the achievements that show up so you can add how many ever you want for example five or six or whatever i'll just put in four and then pass in the condition that is when you want this to show and also for this to work we have to change this repeat loop to the number of achievements that you have inside this forever loop bit confusing I know and if you want to change the X and Y position then that's gonna be from here this is where it originally starts up and then this is where it's gonna end up so if I show you I'll make a variable variable doesn't matter for all sprites and then my condition can be that variable is equal to 1 in this so the first achievement will open so i'll come here and i'll set my variable to one so i set it to one and then it comes here it waits so you can read it and it goes back so if i keep the smoothing to two then it comes very fast it stays there and then it goes back normally if I keep this to 2, then it comes very fast, it stays, and it goes very, very fast. And this is the starting X and Y position. If I keep this to, say, 0, 0, that's the center of the stage, it's there. And then it disappears completely. So this was at the bottom left of the screen. Let me just change this back to the previous values this is what I think works good maybe 167 so I hope this that you like this video it was a very short one and you can add many achievements like this and it's very very easy well I think that's all for this video if, if you liked it, then as I always say, like, share, subscribe, and I'm going to be seeing you in my next video. Till then, take care and bye-bye.